on me, you foul beast. <laughs> you think you have smarted me? The mighty Muldoon? I don't think so, Yoke's Girth. Stay tuned for what happens next on Yoke's Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a punch to the gut. So stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, prominent practical technology signs a new deal with played this game a couple of times pre-release uh, I think it just got released yesterday so I'm gonna try it out stepped in it this time. Just where in the world are you? Hello? Hello? All right, Pete. Remember your scout training. Step one, get your bearings. Signal detected. What's that? It sounds like a radio signal. It must be being transmitted from nearby. an example of the Fermicidae family. Well, logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues. Or... Someone? Science!
Taking a look. Don't even need to boil it. Consulting Detective Weevil, hot on the trail. He's got a nose for the truth. Science! Size of that thing. It's probably the size of a a bathroom scale. <clears throat> Killed the tiny feet. Huh. Well, looks like this thing hooks up with those lasers. I don't think that worked properly. It seems like the machine needs all three lasers to function. Maybe there's a way to fix them? I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmechter, like all of Ominent. I am here in the backyard. Down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. I am tiny! I should gather my thoughts. This is a momentous occasion. Wendell Tolley official log, 89.08.05. Recording as I take my first steps into the miniature world. 
The sights are unbelievable. The textures, the, the way the light falls upon every surface, the subtle patterns in all of the objects that surround me, the grass. Even common lawn grass looks like a structure from an alien world. Wait, what's that sound? The very earth is trembling. Over there, what could it be? An ant! My God, today, the world has changed forever. Choke it down, Pete. Why don't you just stay over there, small red insect? Disturb the mites, and they'll bite.
as you can see here, there's some rocks in the way, and uh, I believe there's something behind it. That's why I went back to the camera. Additional flavor scheme available. Yeah. Tremor detected. Something's afoot. Getting quite late. I should construct some shelter and get some sleep.
clean. Science! Rock, so, 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 science!
Science! Science! Better than starving, I think. Water filtration tablets needed.
That should keep me safe. Mm, safe fur.
Those look like idealized geometric shapes in that pink thing. They can't be real. Science! I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Virgil, please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle to Raw Science. Order received. Raw Science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g, -g, -g grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. Must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I am sure this all must be very disorienting. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? You are here, in the Oak Lab, built and used by Dr. Wendell Tatelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. 
Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea! Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! Memory fault! Code 408B3000! Ominent OS script runtime error! Arg! I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special, and they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks too. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the Hedge Lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> that reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers, too. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ch chips and try not to die out there. Have an exponentially great day! Science. One success after another! I have returned Burgle to his original size! It appears that my new raw science containment field is working at 99% effectiveness. 98.5%! Right, Burgle, right. However, as Burgle indicates, there is some minor insignificant raw science leakage. A note for another time. Noted. But I see no reason to put off a human trial. I believe there should be no issues. But, audentes fortuna what? I am ready to prove my creation's full potential. End recording. Burgle, I'd like to record some messages for my family in case things do not go as planned. Processing. Processing. I'll need to process that. 
This morning, I installed the borrowed lab modules, another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. Odd that Ominent has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here. The Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time, but they will do for now. I could use something to drink.
Oh, I think that's about it today. I'm a little freaked out over that spider. So, uh, y'all decide to give it a shot. Good luck.